What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff Reacts And welcome back to doing Bloodywood Alex and Joan Villarino You guys told me to check out Gadar I think that's how you pronounce it I'm sorry if it's not I hope I do this justice for you You guys told me to turn on closed captions for the last video And I failed to do so I honestly didn't see the comments for closed caption I'm sorry Either I read those and I just forgot about it Either way, I'm so sorry I should have turned on closed captions I will do If you want me to do another reaction to that in the future I will but Today we are going to check out Gadar I cannot wait to get into it First, I hope you guys are having a great day today And if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light Because Whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior, you're a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent, or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you do got this. Brofist, high five. You got this, guys. I promise. I know it's easier to send than done, but you do got this. Check the links in my description. You won't regret it. Let's dive into this. Oh, so this is going to be Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. I don't mean to interrupt right now, and I'm sorry for that. I'm fighting with the lighting so much. Dang it. I mean, you can still see me. It's just darker over here for some reason. So, if... We're getting political. Like, they straight up said they're, they were gonna get political with this. And that usually puts me kind of like it, because I don't want to divide anybody. I do have my own political opinion. I will never fully voice it on here because I just don't want to divide everybody. I'm just telling you how it is. You know, I'm going to be as honest as I ever can be. I will never fully voice my opinion on here because I don't want to divide everybody. Because you're going to... If you're on the right, you're going to piss off the left. And if you're on the left, you're going to piss off the right. You're going to piss somebody off somewhere. And I know there's a lot of people like that. Just voice your opinion. It doesn't matter. Forget what they say. Like, I... I know, especially in these times, everybody wants to, everybody's got their own opinion and you have to pick a side. Being on YouTube here, I wanna to try to stay as right down the middle as I can. I'm not gonna ride the fence or nothing. If, if I don't wanna talk about something, I just won't talk about it, simple as that. I may make a subtle jab about something that I agree with or disagree with, but I will never fully go in like, this is na 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 whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna try to stay as civil as I can. And they did admit in the very beginning of the video, like we're gonna get political about this, but just know we're neutral. We're gonna we're gonna stay neutral on here. We're not with this side or that side. We're staying neutral, but we are gonna get political. And that's just it, it's hard to talk about that when you wanna stay in the middle, especially for me, because I'm so simple-minded. I I have one extreme or the other. I don't have a middle ground. I don't really know how to speak in the middle. I mean, I, I want to for you guys, but I'm horrible at explaining things, especially when I try so hard to tiptoe. I end up sounding worse than I wanted to. But this is already wild, because they're talking about basically their government doing the civilians dirty and making millions and smiling and laughing every step of the way. And that sounds like every government, unfortunately. But I already love the music to this, absolutely. 
I've never been heavy into metal, but I love this rhythm so much. I love the guitar. I love the drums. The dude's a good screamer. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't really know what the technical term would be to say for it, but he's good. I love it. Let's just get back into it. Better like trying to figure that out. Clap the crap, they call him governance More than a rap man, we're informing governments Fold on attack man, get with the plan We're here to pull apart the politicians in the god plan Yeah, yeah we're saying but we're saying nothing new We're just saying you better do the shit you say you're gonna do None of that fake shit, WWE Cause you know we keep it real like the UFC, uh Okay, I'm gonna pause here just really quick. I don't know how much is left of the actual song if they have an, a speech at the end that they do again or what, but I just want to get in a quick part. Just to let you guys know, I am still fighting off a cold. I'm still trying to film the video with my chest hurts. I'm coughing and everything. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to cough too much on camera, but sometimes. A lot of you that have been watching my channel for a while know I cough as is. I've got bad allergies, bad acid reflux, everything. I try to cut that out, but now I've got a cold, so I'm really coughing. So sorry for that. But for the song, they're definitely reaching out and calling their government corrupt. Like, regardless, they are calling, like, from the lyrics I'm seeing, like, it just seems straightforward to the point. They're dirty, they're liars, they're thieves, they, they're, they're tired of voting because every time they vote, it doesn't go the way they want it to. It's basically rigged elections. I like how they said they're staying neutral, but they are straight up trashing their government. And I've got to say, it sounds a lot like ours. <laughs> I'm just mad props to them for doing this. Not many people right now have the balls to say some of this stuff. I can't even. It's insane. I don't know exactly where they stand, but I'm liking what they're saying. Never will I stop, never will I say die, I said never will I stop 
Bro, they went straight wild. And that last, uh, that last that they said, we can, they gave a trigger warning. This video contains heavy political commentary. They wait till the very end of the video to say, you know what? Yeah, we are talking about politics, but forget about being neutral. We're going all in. It is aimed at divisive leaders, parties, and political mindsets. In the face of fascism and communalism, we cannot remain politically neutral. They went there. <laughs> I cannot believe what, what just happened in that video. I love it. I respect it. I agree with them, but I don't even have anything to say myself. That's just insane. Wow. I'm not even going to dive into it further. Look up the lyrics. Check it out. For once, I was able to keep up with the lyrics. A couple of them kind of whizzed by and I'll check them out here in a little bit, but I got the gist. Trust me. Bro, they went there. They dug in deep. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't even believe what I just saw. I mean, I love it. I'm just in absolute shock. Like, they just did that. They sang about that. I don't know what exactly Gadar means in uh, Indian, but... Well, I'll be dang, it's right here in the description. Gadar is a song that's aimed... Okay, well, maybe not exactly what Gadar means, but... is aimed at a complete separation of religion and politics across the world. Everyone deserves equal rights and equal treatment at the hands of their own governments, no matter who and how they worship. We've seen the use of religious and divisive politics globally in recent years, and it needs to be spoken about. Well said, man. Just well said. Music... The singing, the rapping, the music video. I mean, they didn't even go all, go all out and do anything largely special. I mean, obviously it took a lot of effort for them to film while riding a motorcycle and get those trucks together and get everybody in that one spot. And I don't know specifically how their city works, their laws, ordinances, local ordinances, policies and everything, how they got that to flow. Like obviously they put a lot of effort in the music video and. I applauded. They did a good job with filming, cinematography, choreography, just everything. And the music itself is badass. Like, I love the guitar. I love the drums. The singing is especially just well, the screaming, the rapping. I know a lot of you are going to judge me. Again, I'm, I've not been largely into metal most of my life. I've listened to a couple of Avengers Sevenfold songs, and that's been a long time. I don't know any of the terms. You can throw shade at me. You can do whatever. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, but I do really like this. I especially like the message. I'm not even gonna say anything further about it. I just, I like it, I agree with it, I respect it, and everybody should, contrary to popular woke culture belief, should have a right to their own opinion. Amer America and the world is supposed to be founded on freedom of speech. You have a right to say what you want when you want to. I mean, there's a difference between speaking your mind and just being rude and invading somebody's boundaries for sure. Like, don't invade their private space. Don't invade their private life by any means. But if you, if you, there should be civil conversation, open conversation about politics and anything else. And, you know, you may agree to disagree about this and that, but like, it's whatever. Like, people shouldn't be so gun ho about their views, you know? Fine, you have your beliefs, I have mine. Let's not butt heads over it. Of course I say that, I'm one person, everybody, there's gonna be a lot of people that are like, no, we have to butt heads because this is going on. I know, I know. And no, I'm not for the woke culture crap. I'm not gonna buy into it. I'm not gonna falter to it. People should be free to express their opinions however they see fit. I just don't. I like, but I really, really like this. You guys in the comments to let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pep Junkies Unites. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.